YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, DJ Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? So I've been doing a lot of videos lately, Smell Good family, of things that you guys are asking me to do or have requests for, or you've seen other reviewers have uh, a certain style of video, you would like my input. So I can't take credit for today's video. Shout out to my guy, Ross, over at TLTG Reviews. Um, someone from the Smell Good family, actually a couple of people from the Smell Good family, let me know, and I had already saw the video, but let me know about Ross's video of his 10 Middle Easterns that he would keep for life, all right? So they would like to see my take on it. So I said, you know what, it'd be fun. I've never done 10 for life and from the Middle Eastern world, which is such a popular a uh, rising uh, trend in uh, Fragcom, and it's been that way for quite some time now. So um, I said, sure, why not? I've never done that, so let's do it. Uh, but before we get started, as always, hopefully you guys are doing well, doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know who we give it up here on this channel. Uh, like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And let's go ahead and get into it. Only like, comment, and subscribe if you rock it with your boy. <laughs> if you rock with your boy, I would appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get going, man. I have, uh, the base of my video is, you know, Middle Easterns, there's a lot of clones out there. So if I don't have the clone anymore and I have the original DNA, I'm fine. So a lot of these are based off, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this anywhere else or I just prefer the clone better. All right, so let's get into it from the house of Paris Corner. We have something new to the collection. We have Rafikat. I believe Rafika. All right, now this is an apparent clone of Wild Cell's baby cat. Baby cat. All right. Now I've never smelled baby cat. All right, but I've smelled this, and this is spectacular. This is my speed of sweet and spicy. All right, and you have some pink pepper. I think there's even black pepper in here. There's some vanilla, there's some incense. It's a smoky tone to it as it starts to dry down in the mid and get to the dry down. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Uh, again, another shout out to Ross because he was the first one to talk about this, man. And I cannot wait to really wear this and get familiar with this even more uh, out in the world as uh, you know we get going in this fall and this winter style season. I definitely gotta have this. Don't know if I ever smell baby cat because it's not available in the States. All right, so for now, this is gonna work from the House of Paris Corner, gotta have it. We have Raficot. If I'm butchering that, don't tell me in the comments. <laughs> All right, up next, a staple. Gotta have it, grandfathered in, ain't going nowhere. I love the DNA and it's gotta stay from the house of our moth. All right, of course, Club de Nuit. Intense Man, <laughs> limited edition, all right? All of that was based on, if you've been rocking with this channel, y'all know how much I love this DNA, all right? Creed events his DNA on display and this is one that I wear an awful lot. I wear this an awful lot um, because this is between this and the Pure Parfum, I go back and forth, but this is the one that I wear uh, to the office a lot. Um, it's kind of like the first pick, so to speak, of the batch, all right? So, gotta have it. Yes, I have Creative Vintage, yes, but this offers uh, uh, Creative Vintage with the twist that I really, really like. So it's gotta stay with me. From the House of Our Moth, from Club Day, from the Club Day Nui line, we have limited edition Parfum, all right, Parfum, all right. All right, moving along to a fragrance for sure that um, is probably the cheapest on this list, but I just really, 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 really like it, man. From the house of La Tafel, once again, we have the Jazzy Intensive Silver. Now, this is said to be a clone of uh, Y Cell's um, Blue Electrique and uh, the OG uh, La Nuit de Lone, all right? Definitely get a little bit of both in this fragrance, but this tends to do its own thing pretty immediate, immediately after the opening. And I love it in the summertime, man. Citruses, you get an, uh, kind of aquatic spark to it. Um, there's a slight spice to it as well, a creaminess to it. Um, I love the uh, citrus orangey opening that you get. And an amber note that really shines here. It really shines here and I really enjoy this stuff. I paid 15 bucks for this on Joma Shop. Um, I don't know if this is kind of hit or miss in the community, but from the people I talk to and the people I know that have experienced this, this is it. And I love to wear this 
during the summer. I also love to wear it to the office as well. It's just one of those ones for me and I gotta have it for life, all right? Middle Eastern gold, in my opinion, from the house of the Tafel. We have Ejazzy Intensive Silver, all right? Moving along to a fragrance, man, that the longer that I, I have had this, and it's funny because this fragrance is starting to get a little flack in the community and I don't know why, because it was so hyped for so long, but I'm still hyping it because I love it. I ain't hyping it, but I do love it. From the house of Latafa, we got Kamra. Kamra. Of course, of course, of course, this is an inspired by inspired by DNA, uh, so to speak, from uh, Killian's Angel Share, but they did it their way, all right? And the addition of the uh, the, the dates and the slight spice to it, a, a cinnamon praline um, uh, uh, combo that's in here as well. Um, this stuff is really, really nice. So alluring, so sexy, so great for a date night. This is one of my go-to date night fragrances, man, and I gotta have this. And I actually prefer this over Angel Share because the added depth that this fragrance has. I just do. Now, is the quality better in Angel Share? A tad bit, it is. But for me and the bottle that I have, Kamra is the go. Gotta have it from the house of Latafa. We got Kamra. Gotta have it, man. Gotta have it. All right. Up next, up next from the house of Latafa. We got a lot of Latafas uh, in this list. And boy, this is a scent for the kings, a scent of kings, king juice as I call it, from the house of Latafa, we got eternal oud. Now this is set to be, from what I've heard, I can't confirm because I never smelled the fragrance, that this is a clone or inspired by, by Macy's Francis Kirchon's Grand Soir. And I've never smelled Grand Soir, but I've smelled this, the vanilla, the benzoin, the plum, uh, the spice in here as well. Um, even though it's a spice that's not really roaring, you kind of get a good bit of it in the opening, but as it dries down, uh, the, the, the vanilla and the benzoin take over. This stuff is rich, this stuff has body, it has depth, and this is a, when I'm feeling royal, <laughs> when I'm feeling royal, this is definitely a fragrance for sure, for sure, for sure, that I'm pulling out and I got to have it. I gotta have it. And this is a, a vanilla bomb done right with a lot more surprises in the fragrance. Get your hands on this, get your nose on this if you have not already. From the house of Latafa, we have an eternal oud scent for the kings, in my opinion. All right, up next, y'all seen this fragrance talked about a lot. I could actually go and uh, go uh, get this fragrance, an Initio Atomic Rose clone, but I prefer this. And yes, I've smelled Atomic Rose and I'm about to tell you why. Gotta have it, from the house of Latafa. I've talked about this a lot. We have Amethyst. We have Amethyst. Ever since the day that I got this, I've been locked in. Now, why do I prefer this over Atomic Rose? Atomic Rose is a beautiful scent over Initio. It's beautiful, but it's very, very rose-based. You have a little bit of a, 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 a oody presence, a little bit of spice added to it. But what I like about this one, the twist, this has the rose, which is beautiful, the, the jammy rose. This has the oud, this has uh, uh, amber, and this also has vanilla, a floral component as well. Um, and it just kind of sits better with me, especially when this thing dries down. The sillage is amazing. I overly enjoy it, not to say nothing about Atomic Rose, but for where I am and why, when and why I wear this fragrance, I'm good with this one. This stuff is stellar, it's awesome, and I gotta have it. Bang for your buck, just like everything on this list. This stuff is elite, don't sleep. Don't sleep, fellas. I know the rose thing is iffy, don't sleep. From the house of Latafa, we have Amethyst. Gotta have it, man. I gotta have it, all right? Three more left to discuss. Now, this just recently made my top 10 because I don't know what's happened over the past year, but I cannot get enough of this scent I love it, man. I really do. From the house of the Tafel, once again, we have Arik Gold. Our Arik Gold. <sighs> this is dark. This has heft to it. It's 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 spicy. It's it's leathery. It's oody. It's a beautiful vanilla that's tying all of these strong notes together. 
this is something for the winter time that is going to shine this is my speed i like to wear a, a lot of darker colors uh in the fall where i'm getting snazzy if we're talking pea coats and dress pants and a nice pair of shoes or we're talking uh big hoodies uh, uh track suits uh, uh jackets whatever for the fall time i mean for the winter time excuse me this is a representation of me in the bottle when I smell it. One of my run one representation of one of my fragrances uh, in the bottle. This is me. This is me in the bottle every time I smell it, and I love this stuff. Um, it's macerated over time. I did not appreciate this when I first got it because I wasn't ready for it, I guess. But now I do. Don't sleep. Out of eat gold by Latafel. This stuff is awesome, man. This stuff is awesome. All right. All right. Moving along to the last two. Um, this stuff is great, man. It's not slept on. It has some pace out there in the Fragcom, but this stuff is good. From the house of Rasasi, we have Sotorwa. Sotorwa. Cinnamon, spices, a nuttiness from this walnut note that you don't get every day. But the cinnamon and the spices, the nutmeg just shine here. This stuff, I just got to spray it, man. It's so good, man. Now, this is one that I paid a little bit more than maybe I, you know, I didn't have to. But I was so intrigued. I was so intrigued by it, and I'm glad that I did. And I didn't pay nothing too crazy. I bought, I spent around 40 uh, close to $45 for this. I've seen this as low as around 30 bucks, but it's cool. But spices, and if you love cinnamon, if you love nutmeg, this is it, man. It's so good, man. It has a masculine touch, but it has sex appeal. This stuff is awesome. From the house of uh, Ri Rasasi, we have Satur Wa. Satur Wa. Very good stuff for sure. All right. And to round out the list, boy, oh boy, this is probably the snap. Uh, it's one of the more the most sexiest fragrances in my collection from the house of Rihanna. We have Saba Wa Saba Wa Man, I remember the first time that I wore this uh, it was another Christmas shopping day last year. Uh, my brother-in-law was with me and we were moving around and the lady in the local uh, dealers was like, I don't know what you have on and you can't be here for cologne. Uh, Cause I was walking through the cologne section because she said, you smell like you know what you're doing. And it was one of the more profound compliments that I had received, but I'll never forget it because she was in depth with it. And what this provide is just this alluring, strong and sophisticated feel, but this really, really attractive sexiness to it. Uh, uh, spices and florals, oriental feel to it, Middle Eastern vibe for sure. Um, it kind of gives off a slight chocolatey uh, 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 touch in the air for sure. The CI is just great. It performs great. You can do this for a great date night or you can do this if you're just kind of dressing up and being snazzy and clean and buttoned up tight. All right. I love this stuff. I don't, after I wore it that day, I said, okay, this has a purpose. I know what this purpose is. The purpose is for this fragrance and I'm going to keep that in mind. This stuff is awesome and made my top 10 just barely because Afnon, I'm going to say it, Afnon 9 p.m. was flirting around there, but I can get Ultra Mall, even though I like 9 p.m. better. All right, but this made the list because I don't have nothing else like this currently from the house of Rihanna. We have Saba Wahoud. Nice touch with the rosary breeze. These are not mine. They came like that. All right. All right, y'all. So that's it. All right. Now keep in mind, those are my top 10 for life middle easters because even though some things are clones that i have i can go the you know the original dna route to keep the same dna so follow me there all right but these are my 10 let me know what are your 10 how are you feeling about the middle eastern world are you in it are you curious about it do you want to know more let's talk about it down below in the comments all right so um that's pretty much it all right so until next time y'all be cool y'all be safe y'all take care of yourselves and y'all know what it is man Splack up Splack it down, splack it that thing all around. Your boy Clean Max, you got the barber chair, fresh dome, lined up tight. I might have to step out. I ain't going nowhere. I'm finna order something to eat, and me and the fam, we gonna kick it, and I'm gonna watch some Thursday night football. All right, y'all be cool, and remember, what you putting out in this world is exactly what you are going to get back. All right, y'all, I'll holler. Why well, I said that, I'll holler. Be cool, man. <laughs>